what did you think of Westbrook's comments too? And he was I, never I, given a fair shot. I, you know, here's the thing. You know, one of my favorite lines is you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. You sit and you watch NBA games, just like all of us. And we all sit here and know LeBron is going to dominate the ball 95% of the time. You know this as a player. And this is why I always tell players, you just can't go to a team. If you, like I said, my favorite lines, you can't fit Texas inside of Rhode Island. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. And so you watch, like in Westbrook, your game is predicated on hunting the ball 95% of the time. If you're LeBron in the game at the same time, someone has to give it up. So coming into this situation, you're supposed to understand that, hey, I might not have the ball in my hand sometime. And you all got to understand, you know, it's, it's a numbers game. You know that. I don't care who you are. You know, if you're not playing well and there's someone behind you playing well, you might have to sit over there and cheer for them. And that's about being a teammate. That's about being a good teammate. And good teammates, if you you know when you're playing bad and the guy behind you is playing better, better than you, you root for them. And it, it was it's so hard for me to to look at the situation at Westbrook and, and, and say that it was fair for him to say what he said about Vogel. Like uh, I sent him a bottle of champagne to try to, we were never on the same page. And I'm like, well, from the rumors, you never try to get on the same page with anybody. So I, I think that the biggest point there is, you know, you can't get mad at a coach coaching. And right. the coach says, you fucking up, sit on who next to me, learn from why you I'd say, yo, what did I do wrong? What I need to improve on? And that's what you, I don't care if you a rookie, three-year vet, a 19-year vet like LeBron. If you're going to mess up, you ain't perfect. And then you got to learn from your mistakes and try to make the team better. It ain't about you. It's about we. Yeah. And, and look, man, Russ, Russ just doesn't take any accountability. He just doesn't take any accountability. Well, every, clearly. every time that he gets in front of a mic <laughs> and you look at the way that he played, I looked at some of the shots that he's taken. I looked at a lot of the turnovers. That's Frank Vogel fault. The, no, you know what it is? It's a guy that's used to not playing off the ball, trying to force his move, trying to force his shot, trying to force his opportunity. Right. That's what that felt like every time. But that's cool. But I would like for that to be said in some form of, 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 of accountability when it comes to talking to the media oh. and talking oh. to the fans. He never took any. You're Bro, you're a future Hall of Famer. You're a superstar. Where – you get all the praise when things go well. You got all the praise when you when you got the triple double record. Everybody was just showering you with praise. Okay, that's cool. But when you're not playing well, the ridicule is going to be just as heavy. Yeah, and it was. And now it's like, oh well, this and well that. And but I don't care what coach you get, it's not going to change the way you play. Yeah, and it's it's it, hey, I'm gonna say it like this: my last years of Lake it was probably one of my worst playoff seasons ever, and you know. I had I had a manager. I had a, I was at the end of my contract where they could pick up the option. <laughs> they like, nah, you suck, dude. We ain't pick up your option, and that's what you have to look at at your performance, man. I don't care what your contract says or what you've done in the past. It's about the season that you're having and the season that you just had. So you have to take accountability, like you said, man, and understand that this is a business. If you had, and I'm gonna put it on Russ's terms, if you had a business, a line of clothing that was coming, I don't care if this line, this guy has a major line the last three years, but if this season his line sucks, you're gonna let him know. You're gonna say, yo, man, this ain't this ain't up to par. Right. And so that's how you have to look at it. You just can't be like, hey, I'm this guy, I'm this girl, I'm this person. But you gotta understand at the end of the day, it's about getting the job done. And you have that responsibility. And anything you do, if the job, if you're not getting the job done, you got to look at yourself and try to improve yourself. Got to. Now, he picking up that $47 million option. Oh, he picking that one up. Of course he is. Oh, he picking that one up. Of course he is.